Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we have Doug in the house, and we are on air. Uh, today, we're just going to take, take off exactly where we left off yesterday. Uh, we were going for the door, and we're going to continue going for the door. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut open the wheel well. We're going to show you the door that we're going to be cutting open, and then we're going to continue on sheathing some of the of the hauler and um, that's what has to be done we're at the point right now that I feel like uh, sheathing the rest of the little bit of stuff here getting the toolboxes in um, getting the doors opened up uh, just putting all the sheet metal on it we can't we're not going to sheet metal the front yet and the reason being is we're not we're not there yet um, we still have to pull the engine out of it but uh, let's go for the door let's show you what the door is going to look like we need a plasma cutter going here Let's unravel this bad boy, Doug, if you'll... Well, I'll take this part. If you, if you want to get plugged to get the air. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We really do. Not sure which. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia today. Not as beautiful as Jolene, but it's beautiful. Jolene got me coffee in bed this morning, so she woke up at 11 and a half. Eleven and a half. That's ooh, baby, moving up. <laughs> um, this can be plugged in anywhere. I think over here, oh, the over there is fine. I guess. Now, see if we got. Oh, sometimes that does that. We get a little bit of a poopy flame coming out of that, but it's going to work. Let's do the wheel opening first. I don't feel like we need these here. Now, here we go. Let's get dirty. Ouch. My head's getting soft, eh? It's like a newborn baby. It's getting soft. But a newborn baby's head smells really good, eh? There goes the the, the, the trippy cord. You can manage that. I got that mic right up underneath my chin. Ah. No, second one. No worries. Just give it time to cool. That's all. What's wrong, Douglas? Nothing. Works, doesn't it? it does. Goes again. Do you want to change that? Do you want do you want to turn that back on? Maybe we'll just plug it into the wall by the toolboxes. Sure. Please and thank you. And then when you go back to hit it again, it'll be a different one. You want to change the cord? Or you're gonna leave it there. Uh, where do you want to do? Leave it there. It's fine. We'll just do it again. Oh, it's a bit of pain, but well, it's not a very good start for this morning, is it? What? Yeah, we're off the roaring start. Ouch! Every time you turn that on, somehow, for some reason, I'm getting a shock. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Did you want to plug that in the wall instead of you? What's going on here? You get shocked all over the place. Ouch, ouch, I feel like something's on. Ouch. Ready? Yeah, go ahead.
something's going on because I'm getting I'm getting whacked every time I touch I'm getting whacked. Ouch. Every, every, every time I touch a piece of metal, I'm getting a shock. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Ouch. What is going on? <laughs> this don't feel good underneath here. Changing cords? No, would you like to do Yeah, sure. Change the cord from that from the wall. And just put it over on where the where the blue one is. Don't this one over here? No, over there. Okay. Might have to plug that back in the wall there, sweetheart. Ready, rock and roll? Yes. All right. Gonna fall, you're gonna grab it, don't use that lever. Okay. Cool. Watch yourself for a second. Yeah. Ouch. Man. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm getting shocked, like. I feel like everything's yeah, shocking me. Alright, there's the wheel opening, obviously. We've got a little bit of gap going on up here. You can see that gap now that we got the you see that gap now we can I gotta Untake and undo a couple, and then I get the clamps on there and fix that. Alrighty, I'm also take this piece off right here. Take this piece off. That works nice. Alright, there we go again. Sorry, Doug, but hey, no problem. No sores there. Which one is it this time? Um, uh, I've got it welded on this side of the square stock coming down and this side. This side will more or less be ground off because we have to weld that nice tight and right there. But when I get inside there and start you know, spot welding it on, I can't I can get on I get on the side of that piece, but I can't get on what can I say? Sometimes it's easier to weld it on one side than the other. And uh, this side, I got both sides. But. Well, that's not doing so good. No. No. No, it is not. I don't know it's, if it's the machine. Um, or what it is, but it's not the most pleasant, is it? I'm going to cut this one open. I'm right here. Like when I do the wheel, when I do the wheel open, I can't weld on the top of the wheel opening. It's easier to do the bottom side. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why I'm tacking it there. Uh, it's harder to spot weld that on the top. On this one here, I think I did it right. I think I did it right.
Yeah, yeah. Gotta do it again, Doug. As soon as the power goes out, buddy. I so didn't even know something about buddy. As soon as the power goes out, she's... Don't last very long, does it? It's not, is it? No. I'm gonna do this. Can you tell the plug ins are worn out? <laughs> Just a bit. Just a bit. It's probably breaking down because the tip is breaking down too also. Alrighty, let's cut the door open. <clears throat> Gonna have to clean up all the edges. Figure out how to do this right, I guess. I wonder if I should be on. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter which way I go. Actually, I'm going to go on the other side, I guess. It, whatever's easiest is what I want to do. And I suggest you do the same. Grab that necklace, baby. Get that thing out of the way. <laughs> Watch yourself, Doug. I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut the first line. Um, it should not fall in. I just don't want the metal to fall in on me. <clears throat> I'll cut the first line. Um, and maybe the second line, and then you can grab it, hold it on the third line. Sure thing, buddy. Cutting it not? Yeah, it's good. All right, so <clears throat> I guess what I'll do is I'll cut this other side. Um, I'll, cu I'll cut this other side, then I'll cut the bottom. And then you can jump up, and maybe put your magnets yeah. on the top, I'll cut the top side, and then you can hold and it from falling in. So I'm just going to cut this side. Cut a few places. Watch 
Watch yourself, Doug. I'm gonna start right where you're at. Watch yourself. That lasted longer than the other one. Yeah. <clears throat> so where everyone looks funny, you know, you're playing that game at school again. <laughs> when everyone doesn't look right. That's how I look at it when I go to the to the fuse box. All right. We're free there. If you wanna, maybe I can. Still attached by a little bit up top. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the long the bottom. Okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> One more time, Douglas. Oh, good man. Mm -hmm. so, I think we can unsnap the welds on the top, could we not? Uh, might we'll see. A little bit with the we'll zip. see. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see. And I hope, I'm hoping that the people that are watching are, are thinking he can use that piece for the door. And I'm hoping I can too. The piece that I'm cutting out, I'm hoping I can use it for the door. Go ahead. No, not the. She's not on, bye. What? She's not on. Oh, I thought I or she's not plugged in. Just, just maybe check your fuse again. No, she's not on. Yeah. Oh. That's all right. It is what it is. There we go. You had it on. You got it. It's still on. If you'll just turn on and off and on the machine there for a second. Please and thank you. It's flashing, the lights are flashing. On the back, just no on the back. Turn it on. There we go. <clears throat> just makes it more suspenseful, does it not, sweetheart? Huh? More suspense. <laughs> Now, what I'm thinking is, I'll just cut that, come up and cut that off at the top, I'm thinking. <clears throat> we, and we don't want to bend that piece of metal up too much. And the reason being is, we want to use that for the door itself. Um, grab a zip cut. Pots, I'm thinking. Put that right there. Just got to get a zip cut. There's a few tacks at the top I put on it. There's no sense in me really cutting it with the plasma cutter when I can just jump up and zip cut it. I'm hoping. Watch yourself, Douglas. I don't want to get you a sparrow, old buddy. Yeah, still can't yeah. go to zero. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Ooh. 
So we'll save that for the door. As I'm thinking, we'll save that for the door. This is gonna be the door opening. The, the truck is jacked up quite a ways right now. We're off the ground quite a ways. Like it's gotta come down over a foot. Um, <clears throat> so in actual fact, the truck is only about yay tall. Once we get it down on the ground, we were talking about it yesterday, and you can see how I'm gonna to have to tighten everything up along here. Um, you can see how it's coming away there somewhat where I cut the welds off, but we had to get it held in place so it would stay in place. Um, this piece here, I was hammering it yesterday. You can see that it, that the kink didn't matter that much. Uh, now that we get it ended off here, this this uh, this uh, rail that we got going on here is not that visual anymore because it's going to be ended off there. I'm going to end up squaring, taking some three quarter inch square stock and framing this up along here, doing the exact same thing I did with the toolboxes. So I put something. Uh, nail something on the side. We'll do it together, obviously. <clears throat> but this is going to be the doorway for the engine and doorway to get in. Um, when this truck comes down, it's a little bit high right now, quite high, to be honest with you. But when the truck comes down, it's, I think it was eight inches or six inches from the ground. So we got to come down um, a foot. So it's coming down a foot. So six inches, we're coming down about there, six inches, seven inches tall. Um, we talked about yesterday getting in with the door with this coming up that would flop up like a T-bar or whatever you, whatever hatch um, Then you're going to step in on this and then you're going to step down in and get in and that piece there You're going to be able to step on that too, obviously, but uh, we we're talking yesterday and Doug said what about a Peg off a motorcycle and I'm thinking that that would be a perfect idea And the reason being is the peg has a bolt in it not does it not yeah. if a peg has a bolt in it, We could drill it right through the square stock we could put two on it, put through right through the inch square stock, bolt it. Uh, the peg will flop down. You could step on it, step up in. You could have two of them or whatever. And when you're all done stepping in and getting in, the peg would flop up and, and be in place and come up nice and tight and right. I was thinking that I was going to put something on here and it was going to swing in and then, or swing it or out, and then you'd swing it back in. But the peg is already geared up to flop down, flop back up. So it might be good to use a, a peg off motorcycle and maybe even a couple of them maybe one right here maybe one right there but that'll be decided when the truck comes down on the ground then we can get in it also there's going to have to be something you're going to have to be able to grab a hold of to get in like i mean whatever whatever is easiest um like it could be a peg right here hand right here when the door goes up and it could be just as easy as foot go in up in and then down in and it could be that easy, I guess. But uh, we will see. Ah, too old for that. The floor's too hard. Um, we'll see what happens as it goes on. But as we're doing this part right here, um, we've got the door open. Instead of me bang, banging the square stock around, I can. Um, I'm not sure if you want to. It's a hard watch to watch me bang square stock. But we may as well fill in this stuff. Uh, we may as well. I'm going to get Doug to cut this piece. And it doesn't, it doesn't, what am I going to say now? You, there's a piece of metal that we got figured out that we'll just cut that piece off. Um, I can uh, put it on there, trace it out, and then we can cut it at the shear. And then I'll get you to cut me a bunch of two inch, two inch strips. What we're going to do here is we're going to put this piece on first. And the reason being is if I put this strip on first and I go to put this piece on here, then I got nothing in behind here other than sheet metal. So I'm figuring we'll put this piece on first, bring it right down to the bottom. Then we got a little weld right there on each piece. This here on this piece, I want it thicker than the one inch and just having a piece of metal going across here. So I found some more one inch square stock. I haven't got a full piece. But we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a full length and we'll shove that in there. Then we can have a two inch strip here and the door can come down on that. And then it will give me a place to make a lock. Gives me a little bit of room to make a lock there for this door. Um, so now we're, we're really cooking with gas. Uh, we're going to start finish framing up. I've showed you before the toolboxes are welded up. The doors have been welded up. So they're ready to rock and roll. So now it's it's time to to finish up this part. Um, we'll end up probably trying to get the engine out of it today. 
and the reason being is the engine was never the transmission and stuff was just put on the engine for mock-up it wasn't uh, the flywheel bolts were never put in it or anything like that so that's what we're going to do so Doug's going to make me some pieces for to close that in little pieces and I'm going to weld some square stock together and get that in and I'm going to do this I have a piece of angler in here So what will happen, Doug, if you want to cut that piece down an inch longer sure. and then we'll mark it out. We'll just, I'll stick it up there and put a mark on it and then we can cut it that way. Sounds easy enough. Doesn't it? So I'm going to do this. If you have a piece of, you know, if you have some leftover stock that you want to make, sh make straight, I generally throw it into a piece of angle iron and then do it that way. Leave myself a little bit of gap for penetration. And that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We really appreciate it. So everything's moving along really good on this. I guess. Um, now that the, the back, this wheel well is done in the back, the bumper can go on. Whoa. Tons and tons and tons of welding. Tons. But that's what I signed up for, I guess. So I must... Oh, sorry, excuse me. I wasn't thinking of all the welding. When I pulled that chassis from down back up here, I wasn't thinking about the tons and tons and tons and tons of welding. I was thinking that I wanted to make something. And uh, I went for it. I'm sort of glad I did. Perfect. It is getting to be a long, drawn-out process, but where it's at, where it's at now, geez, I really do got to finish the body of it and then get the mechanics dealt with after, you know, get the mechanics dealt with, get, get Nathan to help me with the mechanics, and uh, Gap in it. Lots long, eh, Doug? What's up, buddy? Lots long? Yes. Cool. Yes, awesome. you got more than enough. Awesome. Yeah, I want to take a look at this before I start nailing it together. It's pretty good. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Let's stop up your pretty legs. Ooh, that's better. I would have welded that right across one zap, but it was kind of a bigger gap. And if I would have tried to weld it right across with the weld with the welder set where it was, I would have just blew a hole. No fear of grinding it all off. 
there's there's room for penetration Moved off. We'll get it set in there and we'll start closing her up. All right, have a. I can't thank Buddy enough for the for the wheels or for the flapper discs on this thing. These they're 24 grit, I think, or 36 grit, I think, and uh, they really work fantastic. Um, they're exactly what I need on this thing. Because there's a few places that, you know, I'd rather use them than a hard disk. Hard disk, I find it, it gouges so bad. This here, I can hold it flat and I can make it look like something. And I'm not taking away from anything I don't want to take away with these, with these, with these uh, 36 grit flapper discs. They seem to be expensive, but what is not these days? What is not? Everything's expensive, is it not? Or getting up there. But, you know, as as I say, everything's expensive. Do, do, do we not um, forget about the money that was given out to us from the, the big, the big, you know, the flu that we had? There's so much money given out, we gotta pay it back. I, I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Like, we're forgetting about that probably. Or, I'm, you know, I have a few times. But uh, there was a lot of money given out. And I'm thinking that we have to pay it back. I think Jolene's going down to check on Doug, see if he's still got all his fingers. It's probably pretty loud, wasn't it? <laughs> it is what it is, Doug. Yep. It is what it is, buddy. It is what it is. Just cut out some two inch strips for our doors. For... Closing her in, man. Closing her in. What are you going to call it? The, the Bugatti Horror? The, 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 the Doodle Bug? Or what, do you, or the, what do you call it? The thing? <laughs> Jolene gets to name it. <laughs> no, I was just wondering what you what, what you call it on your off time. Chad's creation. Oh, there you go. No, That's Chad's cool. Creations. Perfect. We need. I don't know about perfect, but. Oh. Okay. Don't don't give you that one. You got Close four of them. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, if you wanna. I can clamp this on here so you can wrap it up and cut it. You might as well cut off. Here, Doug. Just uh, take your marker. We'll hold it on there. And mark the other side of it. Needs just needs to go. Nope. Don't need the bottom one. Just need straight up. Gonna do it anyways, just because. Okay. Well, don't get confused. Mark top. top. No, 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 no. Up top here. Up here. Just a minute now. Just a second now. There's a piece of square stock I cut off in square stock. 
Actually, I got it right here. Just lay that in there. That's the top. If you know what I'm trying to do. Go for it. Hand mark along the top. That needs to be cut off. So you got. You're, cu you're cutting that off. You're cutting that off straight. You're not worried about that. Okay. Not worry about that. Yep. And cutting the top off. Perfect. You're the man. Thanks, buddy. I'm gonna grab this. Gonna knock a little bit of the weld off the top of that. And the reason being is I'm holding that spare stock so it's not true. On the internet, there's always there's always little things that I read, you know, when I'm scrolling. I don't go looking for anything or searching for anything. If if that comes up, then I ask my Queen Jolene to do it. But there's always things on there, um, just sayings and stuff like that. And uh, what's it what's it say? Um, those who tell the truth will always be hated. <laughs> I, I'm I'm feeling like I'm not liked much. <laughs> <laughs> when that when I read that saying, but I much prefer much prefer the truth. You didn't want to cut that on the shear? I was going to, but I like making noise. I was just telling myself <laughs> that. I like making noise. <laughs> Makes it sound like I'm doing something. There you go. Sometimes I forget too, Doug. So, sometimes I forget about the shear too. Yeah. The shear is just nice because it makes a nice straight line. That's all. Not that you can't with a grinder. Mm. Looks good. I just get so used to grabbing a mini grinder and just trying to I understand, I understand. So you love making noise and finding sparks and... Is that right? I'm gonna weld... Ah! Weld this on. <coughs> mm. In for in so it don't get too hot. Feeling pretty good in here.
What do you think of the new big hit, Doug? The song. You see the new song, the new big hit? No. The guy with the big red beard and the red hair? It's pretty cool. No, no, it's pretty never, cool. Heard it. never heard it? <laughs> yes, it's sort of country. So I live in the country, but I like country music. Probably getting a little hot. I'm awful rough on this welder, I know that. Time for a new kit. Yeah, probably. There it goes. Start a cling on. Good. Knock that off. We'll start putting, I gotta flapper the heads off of those. And the reason being is when we go to put the, the two inch pieces on, if they're not laid out flat, then we'll have an issue. come take a close look you can see where I held that grinder somewhat flat you can see that some of the welds I didn't even touch where that pipe or the square stock has got that round edge and a round edge where it comes together that's where the weld is to go when you weld up stuff like that and that's why some of that square that like I didn't even touch that and I touched the square stock that weld is in there and uh, that's the exact same thing what happens when you're pull your metal over a little bit and you weld that edge and you grind it off you've, you've still got weld there if you're taking um, the edge of the metal all the way over and then welding up this edge and grinding it all off really what have you got that's the long piece that you have Douglas we'll try that piece well done got a little bit of Flapper wheel up the side, but well done. We'll just take a clamp and clamp that on if you will, Douglas. I'm going to, what, just a minute, just a minute. Yeah. Go for it, yeah, go for it. Gonna have to take it off no matter what. No, let's put it on the other side, because the other side fits good. I want to grind that side off. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, one up top here. Be fantastic. One down the bottom will be super duper. I want to be super duper today. So you don't you want to be super duper today? You can be if you want to be, bye. You can be if you want to be. You can see how this is this metal on this side it is is over a little too far, so it's gonna to have to be ground back a little bit. And then we got these little pieces. Look at that now, would you? Huh? 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 Yep, now we're talking. Now we're cooking, Just going to tack, tack them on real quick. And then we'll get going where we need to go. Now we need to flapper this, this side back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nail a couple spots on them. We'll flapper wheel it.
still not weld that up continuously yet because you got the toolbox to go in there. We might as well cut that back where that's gotta go. When we put the toolbox in, we'll do one round all the way around and weld it up that way. But this one let go, so I'm gonna fix it. One there, let go, so. And we got it back far enough that that's gonna work out good for the toolboxes. On this side, we're good. We've got some little pieces that Doug has cut for this. I grind that back just a little bit. I'll slide that right in there. Just knock this off. Do, 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 do. where it's supposed to be not where it's supposed to be but yeah where it's supposed to be i'm gonna lay it up in there so i can weld this edge and i can grind the top off easy you want to get that other one in place for me doug you're more than welcome mm -hmm. you're more than welcome so i've got it right along here like i said the top can be ground off later are you winding it up down here no oh, you're gonna no. let's cut this piece off um I can put a little piece in there. Yes, we can. Just a sec. Pull that out. Yeah. Does that work for you now? Lots. Just a second. Just a second. See, I want to do. The, I want to do this part. See this? I want to do the bottom first. So okay. Put it there. Just a second. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll just weld that one. Weld. Put that one on there. And the reason I do that is I can grind the top off. No. That just gives me a place to weld, that's all. I'm going to have to run the grinder through that and get that nice and tight and right. Beautiful. This one on so it goes like this. So we got the tops right. And then cut the bottom. No, put that down a little bit. Like that. There. Go for it. Yep. Cool. Does it cut that? Can you go back? Yeah, here one's a little bit longer. Can, can, that's fine. It's just left over. Yep. Yeah, just keep, so. Um just, gonna, just, gonna, just clamp that right there. And the reason I'm clamping like that, so I can weld that along there, like that's all gonna have to be knocked down. We can cut the bottom.
It's gonna be ground down. Perfect. You got it now, Douglas. There. Just a little bit. Long, buddy. That's all right. That I can uh, zip cut that. Let's take let's take this one off. Clamp your clamp yours on, and we'll zip cut this in if you want. Just leave it down on the on the square stock just a little bit. Right, like that. Cool. I'll zip cut this. Didn't matter which end. <laughs> not matter which end but Alrighty. Oh, get. So we've pretty well, we've got this pretty well faced in on this side. Toolboxes are next. We got to grind. We got some of this stuff here where we where we cut off, um, where we cut off. The inside here, the sheet metal that we put on. This stuff here is good because we got it back way far enough, but the stuff that we cut off, we put the spot welds on the wrong side. We got to get that ground back so we can get those boxes in. Exact same with this side here. This has got to be ground back and tacked on so it's right. Um, the stuff that we put on here is right, but the stuff that we cut with a plasma cutter is not. Um, we also have like this little bit right here that's too far up. We have this little bit right here that's too far up. This right here is going to be ground off and reconnected because that's going to knock them off. Then we got to come back here and fix this. We got to grind that back so that's tightened right on that uh, square stock. Then we have our wheel opening, a real arch over there. So basically right now we're just going to go around and get everything right. So all this is, has to be, just all this here has to be ground and, and pulled back a little bit, ground up and, and flushed off so we can get a weld in there so it's not going to come off when we weld up. This has got to be ground back. So basically now what we're going to do is we got it all sheathed or getting it there. Now we have to go around and fix it all so we can apply it all. Looks good, man. So that's what it, that's just, well, a little more to this side than the other side. And the reason being is, is because of the doors. Uh, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I keep looking at the fin on the back and I'm thinking that I should put a little fin on this. And I'm not sure why, but somehow, some reason, things happen like that. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for coming back. I will use the piece of metal that we cut out of the roof to sheath the door. Hopefully, I can get on to banging some square stock around and getting some square stock to fit. And then uh, we can frame it up. I can show you how I'm going to frame it up. It would be nice to have the square stock made before I start, you know, um, start framing it up and showing you what, how I'm going to do it. Uh, basically, we're going to do it the exact same way as we did the toolboxes. We put a shim in between. We also have to think about, like I was talking to Doug this morning, I have to think about uh, drip rails. Uh, I have in the past, because I was trying to go too fast and get something done, is not make a drip rail for a door that's like this when it gets rained on. Sometimes the rain will go down inside. It's not a good thing. You, sh you generally need a drip rail. Uh, we're going to have to make a drip rail for this if we do not water, want water going in the si inside of it. And we probably do not. Not that I would be driving it in the rain or anything like that. <clears throat> yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back. We appreciate it. A door opening's there. Probably foot pegs off a motorcycle. A grab bar of some sort. You get down in. This thing's going down another foot. Uh, it should be good. Like, subscribe, comment. Come back tomorrow. We'll be here. And thanks very much for coming back and all the great comments. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're cooking with gas.